Assalamualaikum. I'm Nufitra binti Razaimi, a student from Faculty of Information Management. The purpose of this video is to fulfill requirement of a subject information management system. The topic that I choose is ISDN. I'm sure most of you might not know what is ISDN, ISDN so let me explain what is ISDN is all about. Okay, ISDN stands for Integrated Services Digital Network. It is a telecommunications technology that enables the transmission of digital data over standard phone lines. It can be used for voice call as well as data transfers. Okay, I will explain uh, a little bit about ISDN in 1990s to 20s. Okay, ISDN was a common high and internet service in the 90s and early 20s and was offered by many ISPs as faster alternative to dial up internet access. Many businesses and organizations uh, use ISDN services for both internet access and network connections between locations. Okay, in the mid uh, 2020s, DCL, DSL actually, DSL is digital subscriber line family of technologies that are used uh, to transfer digital data over tele telephone lines and cable service began to uh, replace ISDN connections because of their faster uh, speed and lower cost. Okay, today ISDN um, is still used in some network connection but it is rarely used for internet Okay, next I will explain about two main types services of ISDN which are Basic Rate Interface BRI and Primary Rate Interface PRI. Okay, a BRI connection consists of 264 kbps which is kilobyte per second B channels and 116 kbps D channel. Thus, a BRI delivers up to 160 28 kbps of data. Meanwhile, primary rate interface a PRI in the United States, a PRI connection consists of 23 uh, B channels which is 1472 kbps total and 164 kbps D channel. Uh, in Europe, a PRI connection consists of 30 B channels which is 920 kbps total and 1d channel okay what is the types of channel or communication phase is all about first b channels is a uh, carry uh, payloads uh, such as um, data or voice streams meanwhile d channels carry control and signing information difference between an analog telephone and ISDN is that everyone can add multiple devices on the letter. There are few types of ISDN devices which are TE1, TE2, TA, NT1, NT2, LT, and ET. Okay, what is TE1? TE1 is Terminal Equipment Type 1. Type 1. This is the ISDN telephone computer, ISDN fax machine or whatever it is that you have hooked up to the ISDN phone line. Okay, terminal uh, equipment type 2 which is TE, TE2. This is the old uh, analog telephone, all style fax machine, modem or whatever you use to hook up to the analog Line. It can also be other communications equipment that is handled by a TA. Okay, what is TA? TA is a terminator, a terminal adapter. This lets all uh, TE2 staff talk to the ISDN network. It is also adapts other kinds of equipment like uh, other other uh, interfaces to ISDN. 
okay nt1 is network termination type 1 okay this is the end of the line for the local phone company and the beginning of your house phone network okay nt2 is network termination type 2 in most homes uh, this won't exist if you were a big company with your own private telephone system then this would be the cuts of that telephone system okay what is LT okay line termination this is physical connection to the phone company okay the last one is ET or the exchange termination this is the local phone co companies a logical connection from your telephones to the phone network okay applications of ISDN which is integrated services digital network or video conferencing ISDN video phones broadcasting industry backup internet connectivity and the last one is bank ATM okay everyone the last one is the advantages of integrated service digital network first is a uh, speed up to 1920 kilobyte per second the modem was uh, a big breakthrough in computer communications. It allowed computers uh, to communicate by converting their digital information into an analog signal to travel through the public phone network. There is uh, an upper limit to the amount of information that an analog telephone line can hold. Second is allow multiple devices. Okay, ISDN allow multiple devices to share a single line. It is possible to combine many different digital data sources and have the information routed to, to the proper destination. Since the, uh, since the lines is a digital, it is easier to keep the noise and interference out while combining these signals. Then the last one is fast call setup. Okay, instead of the phone company sending a ring voltage signal to ring the bell in your phone, which is in band signal, it sends a digital packet on a separate channel, which is out of band signal. Um, the out of band signal does not disturb established connections, nor bandwidth is taken from the data channels, and call setup is very, very Okay, before I end up my video, I would like to shortly recall what is ISDN, Integrated Services Digital Network. In, uh, it is a telecommunications technology that enables the transmission of digital data or video over telephone lines. There are two main types of services, which are BRI and PRI, also have a P channel and D channel. Other than that, ISDN have three advantages and a few of application on it. That is a simple explanation about ISDN and hope all of you can get some knowledge from this video. Alright everyone, thank you for listening and watching my video. Please do support me and don't forget to hit the button like.